What's up everybody? Anthony here, SpecialtyMotorCars.net and behind me you will see what I would bet money on as one of the nicest last gen Lincoln Town cars in existence today. This is a gorgeous 4,800 mile, one owner, 2003 Lincoln Town car, Cartier. Absolutely gorgeous car. I'm excited to show you this car. This car belongs in the Henry Ford Museum. That's how nice this car is. I'm gonna go in and show you all about this car inside out, stepping back in time in this absolute time capsule Lincoln Town car. Let's get into it. And here she is, an absolutely stunning silver birch over a beautiful medium stone gray leather interior. 2003 Lincoln Town Car Cartier, Cartier, however you like to pronounce it. This is a one owner car that I had purchased from the original owner's uh, children out of Portland, Oregon. Uh, the car right now has 4,848 miles, an absolute time capsule of a car uh, purchased from one of the best areas to acquire uh, collector cars. The Pacific Northwest is where this car came from, came over 3,000 miles here to my shop in Pelham, New Hampshire. Uh, and this car out of the dozens and countless stuff dozens of town cars that I have ever offered. Uh, this by far is the finest, most well-preserved example I have ever had. Uh, literally belonging in a museum. This car is a beautiful example. And the best part is it's a highly optioned, high trim model, not a base car. Uh, top trim Cartier, it's got great options. The chrome wheels, factory moonroof. Um, and then it's got some really cool options that 2003 only options uh, that were available uh, just for the, the 2003 model year. Uh, and then Ford discontinued them or decontented them for the later years, maybe thinking that those options weren't important. I'm very excited to offer this car uh, today. This is a phenomenal example. Uh, I really don't know the type of buyer for this car. Like I said, this car belongs, it really belongs in a museum. I'm gonna do a full walk around here of this car, show you the bottom of the car as well. The bottom of this car is insanely, insanely beautiful. Uh, it's just really, really well preserved, in the right climate, not driven in rain, just really well loved. I don't have much to show you as far as defects uh, at 4,800 miles. This car is just near out of the wrapper. Uh, so if you're looking for one, if you wanted to buy one of these when they were brand new in 2003 and you couldn't, now is an opportunity to purchase a brand new 2003 Lincoln Town Car Cartier. It's a very, very original car, even down to the original uh, Michelin Energy LX4 white wall tires. I left those tires on just they're so full of tread obviously with the mileage um but very very little to no dry rot i really i don't see any dry rot in the tread of these tires and i've put about 250 miles on this car and these tires roll out very very nicely obviously for daily consumption you would want to put new tires on this car um, there's a few brands i recommend uh, but for the collector um <laughs> originality you know it's only original ones and they're phenomenal examples let me show you a close-up going down the side of this car Come over the top surfaces All original glass, the original 
car light windshield. Original lights and lenses are in phenomenal shape. Chrome on this car. This beautiful deep luster to it. Beautiful original paint. There. Up on the top side, the passenger side. Just an absolutely beautiful example of this era town car. 2003 I was in middle school and if I could <laughs> if I could go back in time in middle school and buy one brand new I would and it would be a 2003 Cartier just because of the high uh, option high trim last year for the Cartier nameplate um, first year for this body style uh, so I'm gonna go around point out a few little things minor things uh, one of the things that the 2003s have that no other model years have is that sensor right there in the windshield that is a rain sense wiper option essentially senses the rain detects how heavily it's raining out and adjusts the wiper speed to that uh, cadillac did that lincoln only did it in 2003 uh, has insanely beautiful chrome wheels all inside the pockets get more into the wheels a little later on in the video when i have it on the lift uh, but coming down the side of this car, it's just a few little minor blemishes. A little itty bitty scratch right there. A few very light scratches right here on the uh, door mirror. Let's see right there, a little guy right on the edge. Right down here, a little chip right there. chip right there again absolutely stunning wheels just perfect chrome on these wheels the caps like I said I'll do an in-depth video underneath the car to show you this car um, below as well paint on the bumpers are in great shape chrome on this pocket shows it beautifully there's no creasing and cracking usually it starts to delaminate on these corners a few little minor chips looks like from maybe fingernails on this textured panel here And the wheels on this car are just phenomenal, phenomenal shape. Everything is phenomenal on this car. Uh, the piano black pillars, factory sunroof. All the paint and trim down here. Just a really, really nice car all the way around. few little minor scratches on the front bumper. See one right there. Uh, there's one here. And you can see one right there and right there. Uh, very, very minor stuff. Again, the chrome, beautiful. All right, let's take a dive onto the inside of this car. 
where I will show you uh, <laughs> how new it is on the inside as well. All right, going on to the inside of this beautiful 4,800 mile Lincoln Town car, and you will see this car is a little, <laughs> little cobweb there from my wash brush. Uh, how insanely clean this car is, even inside the door jams. Birth date on this car, I believe was January, no, what am I looking at? <laughs> August 2002. Uh, silver birch color JP uh, but take a look inside the jams here of this car insanely insanely clean and the door threshold all inside these jams are just fresh as can be all the gaskets and weather stripping absolutely beautiful hinge area Carpeting is phenomenal. Even inside those pockets, hard to get a capture in there. You can see here all the wood trim is it's just glossy, glossy, glossy. No way. Look at the gloss on that. We'll let the back seat passengers open up. Door pull strap, just perfect. I wish cameras had smell-o-vision because this car, I, I didn't experience these cars when they were brand new, but just smelling the inside of this car, now I know what these cars smell like when they rolled off the assembly line in Wixom uh, as brand new Lincoln Town cars. Carpeting, phenomenal. One of the other cool things that the 2003 models have that no others have is this map pocket. I call it a snack pocket, uh, you know, but you can hide, you know, a little whatever you want in there. Uh, 2003 only uh, issue on that. Phenomenally soft, smooth leather. I mean, just really beautiful. Look at the Cartier logo. You can see the grain in the leather, which is insane. This guy flips open both ways. Start it up in just a minute. Open up the back here. And just like the front, very, very clean. All the gaskets and weather stripping. Just a beautiful area to preserve a car. The climate uh, is phenomenal for car preservation. Put these open. Anodizing on all the locks and knobs. Absolutely perfect. Incredibly, incredibly clean. Again, you zoom in, you can kind of see the grain on the leather. You can feel the grain, you can smell the grain. No leather on this car. Passenger side.
Yeah, and I wish, I wish cameras had smell of vision because if you could smell how nice this car is inside. perfectly mint that is. Again, just like the other side. The tone in the wood. No scratches, no claw marks. And the leather on these, usually these start to wear. This car shows, looks, smells, acts, drives. Like a 4,500, 4,800 mile Lincoln Town car should. Flips both ways. You got the original coin holder in there as well. Carpet is perfect. In the gloss, no scratches, no white marks. Headliner is in beautiful shape. All right, you've seen the inside now. Let me pop the hood, pop the trunk. I'll show you those details. We'll take it for a spin. All right, inside the trunk here, and you will see I have all the original floor mats as you would expect. I even have the original plates on this from this car uh, with the original dealer plate frame. Uh, the 2003 Cartiers, um, another one year only thing was this lighter colored interior uh, carpeting for the, the Cartiers. I believe all the 2003s had it. You can see it here. The original Max's safe or uh, space saving spare with the line ink still on it. Tuck that back up under there. Uh, another cool thing that this car comes with is the uh, original uh, cargo organizer. Pop that open there. Has a three-tiered bin. Uh, and this bin, I mean, obviously it brings up the level of the trunk floor. Um, but you can also remove it if you need that deep <coughs> trunk space. Um, underneath here you can see it opens that trunk space. Right back up again. Carpeting on here is in great shape. Another cool thing that I've never seen on another town car is this little green sticker. I'm thinking something quality control related because it's right on the spot where this stopper would stop. Uh, this side, it is gone, but I thought that was pretty cool um, that that had that trunk pull down works perfectly come over here see in there inside the gas lid it's clean and let's pop this hood open under the hood of this car again time capsule quality I have had a lot of nice uh, 2003. I've had a lot of nice town cars. And this car just literally takes the cake. Uh, I wish, you know, you could see just the detail. I got tag, paper tags, the anodizing still on um, a lot of the trim components. 
tons of quality control marks all throughout this car. I mean, every little thing has a, a line or a dot. And look at the anodizer and all the nuts and bolts. You can actually still make out the part number on the tensioner. It's really insane on how nice this car is under here. Uh, you know, the, just the little grease marks. Decals telling you where the parts are made. I did just replace the battery with a Ford Motorcraft battery. I will start the car up. I just wanted you to be able to kind of get a close up here. This car was really well kept and protected, uh, garaged and in a really well tight, you know, well, I guess, saw, uh, looked after garage because you know, there's no signs of any rodents or anything like that. No spider webs in this car when I got it, nothing like that. Uh, just insanely clean under the hood. Perfect, I mean, even all this here, just really clean. 2003 did have an under hood light um, that was later done away with. All right, let me start this one up for you. Four thousand eight hundred forty eight miles. Forty eight, forty eight. Radio this is the Alpine in dash CD cassette combo. You have your climate control here, all that works. Let's see exterior temperature, AC, you have the AC uh, compressor, cycle on. I don't know how much cold air we'll get today. Inside the ashtray is new, 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 new. head console show you all this stuff in depth uh, in just a second here I wanted to show you the engine running All right, now we're gonna head back to the shop and I'm gonna put this car up on the lift. You're gonna to wanna to see how incredibly clean this car is underneath. It's something that you just do not see. I don't care how nice or where these cars come from. I have never seen one this nice before in my life. All right, getting under the bottom of the 2003 Lincoln Town Car, Cartier, Cartier. Uh, this car is a true time capsule under here. Uh, this hasn't been overly detailed. I wiped, you know, the frame rails down. I wiped just, you know, any surfaces that I could easily access. Uh, but this is as delivered to me and nearly as delivered by Ford 20 years ago. You can see, I mean, insane amounts of quality control markings on everything like everything's got a dot on it somebody check this car going down the assembly line every step of the way 
One thing that I did notice that I'm just guessing at is to see these two marks here, one there, and one on the same side on the uh, passenger side. I'm thinking that those are from like the body lift coming down the assembly line at Wixom. But like I said, this is not doctored. This is not greased over. This is not dry ice under cleaning. This is as I got this car. Stainless exhaust, impeccable frame rails, original coating. And even this piece here, I haven't seen one shiny like this in I don't know how long. Frame rails are super, super clean. I mean, this car is just impeccable. You can see light surface rust on the rear axle. Um, I've never seen one this clean before. All the town cars I've had. And now I know why these surface rust over because it's just bare metal. It's raw bare metal. Get you a shot of those airbags. Perfect, if I can focus, yes. Inside. This side, I mean, just amazing, amazing time capsule of a car. Like I said, chalk marks everywhere on this car. I'm gonna assume that marks like this in your frame here and here are probably same thing, frame drop, you know, coming down the line or maybe how they're mounted on uh, the little trolleys. This car literally belongs in a museum. One last thing I'll point out that was kind of neat to see. HKNR, not sure what that means, written in Grease pen there. Uh, you can see there's dots and lines everywhere. Just did a Motocraft oil change, the Motocraft filter to replace the original. Motocraft filter that was in this car. Right rear wheel. You can see just absolutely beautiful chrome. Michelin, original Michelin Energy LX4 tires. And if you look inside the tread, I don't see any visible dry rot. Obviously, these tires are 20 years old, but for originality, I had to leave them on there. Lower bumper. No scuffs or anything like that. Over there, no chips. Little guy, I think there's a little scratch right there. Usually you see them all marked up. Nice, nice shape. Left rear. These wheels are insane. And beautiful Michelin. And surprisingly, these tires are not flat spotted. I mean, they might have a slight bit, but I put 250 miles on this car. Most of that was on the highway. And it was not 
all bumpy and flabby. Just as it came from the factory. Lower doors. Just have a small little chip right there. Focus. Right there on the door edge. Go right to the front here. Anodizing on all, even on the nuts and bolts in here. Left front wheel. bracket, lower bumper, right front tire, wheel, and just absolutely beautiful chrome. This one Tread on them is great. Original tires. And like I said, not all flat spotted. Anyways, bottom side, lower sections. Of all right, I want to show you what I have for stuff with this car. Um, in this case, I have all three original keys, the two master keys, the gray valet key, and then two original remotes. Even have original dealer tag from when this car was new. Let's start it up. Four thousand eight hundred forty-eight miles on this car. Other little things that came with this car: a cool uh, Oregon Coast. Um, this, uh, fish and wildlife services. I thought this was a map, but it's really just explaining uh, the Oregon coast there, uh, which is where this car came from. I do have the original window sticker. We'll take a look at that in a minute. I do have some little pamphlets, a few service records in here. Uh, but uh, right over here, you'll see I have the original book, um, all the pamphlets, a little CD-ROM, Tells you all about this car, pre-delivery inspection lists, all that good stuff from Lincoln when this car was bought new. Take a look at the original window sticker here. You can see uh, paint is doo -doo 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 -doo, ripped off. Yeah, that's where it would be on the corner here. Uh, this car is silver birch over a dark stone leather. Uh, price of this car was 47000 Four hundred and seventy some odd dollars. Uh, white white sidewall tires were the only option. Uh, this car was a Cartier Premium or Premium Package Cartier. You can see that right there. Uh, what that signified was basically uh, Lincoln put everything into this car. Um, the sunroof was a no option cost add or no added uh, cost option stuff like that. You can see they even gave a discount on the premium package. Uh, so $47,740. This car was sold new at Hannah Motor Car Company, uh, which is um, out in Vancouver, Washington. Uh, final assembly point at Wixom. Uh, really, really cool uh, to have something like this with a car, uh, you know, in this uh, condition. So put that in there. I might have showed you this earlier, but all inside the cup holders and everything. In beautiful shape. Inside all the little trays. All the power options work. Heated seats work. Your windows. All function as they should. 
you have all your headlight switch and everything over here automatic headlights pull out for fog lights uh am fm alpine cassette cd combo all these buttons here reset all your uh, instrumentation there power opening moonroof one touch All the headliner in this car is in beautiful shape. You have a dual illuminated vanity mirrors. I believe this was a 2003 only thing, this little letter holder. You could stick a letter or a comb or something in there. Um, one of the things I did repair on this car or actually replace um, was the rear parking aid module. You back this car up. You'll hear the parking aid and you'll see those lights it's very common for the parking aid module on these cars to go out uh, even on a low mileage car like this uh, so that was replaced with a brand new unit we'll take it for a spin here let me get my seat belt on All right. take it for a spin here Sensor. That's for the rain sense wipers. This car shifts through all the gears perfectly. You feel the heated seats starting to heat up too. That's a nice feature. about these town cars is they still retain the cornering lamps i think that is such a classy feature with these old uh, american domestic luxury cars i love cornering lamps brakes on this car are very very nice beautiful pedal no pulsation it has all the original brakes uh, but we did a fresh uh, Motocraft synthetic blend oil change, uh, 5W20, six quarts of that. Um, like I said, I replaced the parking aid module. Uh, aside from that, this car is just, uh, I mean, a time capsule, absolute time capsule.
doing 80 miles per hour here and uh, this car is just smooth as smooth can be holding the road perfectly uh, even the tires like I had mentioned earlier the tires on this car are nice and round usually these old Michelins especially from sitting around they get flat spotted um, there's no vibrations no shaking uh, or anything like that in this car it just goes down the road and absolutely how it's supposed to now, this is normally the time of the video where i would tell you how much i'm asking for the car uh, but this car is a very special car like I said earlier and throughout the video, truly deserving of a pampered life, a collection, a museum. I don't think you're gonna find one again like this car. High trim, high option level car like this in this phenomenal condition, uh, both above and below. Uh, so I am gonna be selling this car at absolutely no reserve on bringatrailer.com. It's an auction site. I'm gonna leave a link right down in the description. Also pin one in the comments one over on my website where you can see all the still pictures well some of the still pictures you go over to the auction page and you're gonna see over 400 pictures of this car above below insane documentation of the condition of this car in photos and video absolutely no reserve this car is gonna be sold uh, a week from today which is gonna be December 17th I don't know when you're seeing this video but December 17th this car is gonna end in the afternoon highest bidder will own this car uh, so go over and check out the listing let me know what you think down in the comments of this car uh, down below in this video or you can leave a comment over on the uh, bring a trailer page as well and excited to uh, you know get into uh, some friendly chatter about this car uh, with the panther community out there take a look bring a trailer.com absolutely no reserve that's going to give everybody an opportunity to own this car Thanks, everybody, for looking. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Thank you for your bids. We'll talk to you on the next one.